Okay, so I'm setting up my research here on uh, my D&D &D build kind of sort of thing. i fire one up here if I got one. Um, and uh, let me, well, just before we get back to this specific problem, um, this being the I, the complete book, book of uh, Intellectual Test 500 um, exercises to improve your intelligence and things like this, as an IQ test, this stuff is nasty. Let me begin to tell you, this stuff is real nasty. I mean, unless you're dealing with dyslexic people and things like that, this, this really isn't functionable at all. You know, why do I need to rearrange these kind of criteria? I'm not asking you to redesign chemical bonds with anything because that would be what would be practical inside here. But before we get into that, that nature, this, I'm just gonna, I, I might go through it to see which ones are actually practical. Um, but in the end of this, I think I'm going to radically redesign this. Uh, I like this one. You know, th this one's pretty good. I, I even like this one, the alphabetical, put them in alpha that makes you think real hard, gets the gears grinding real good. And it's something that's practical. Um, over here, this is practical. It teaches um, reading comprehension and also... Uh, definitions by a standard uh, retention over history and things like that but there, there's some numbers inside here I just don't like in terms of of what this represents you know yeah they'll make they'll have differences later in life but I need them now I, I don't care what that test correlates to later in life that means nothing to me I need to know from the immediate skill set to where I'm going with it, how it practically applies. And I need a test that defines as the average this black body problem um, in general to correlate to about 100. That seems about right to me. I'm not gonna argue with that of the population. Not in general, but of what local population I wanna be able to uh, augment this situation to. Um, so th there are things that I like and there are some things that I really don't like about what this standard correlates to um, from my local position. And, and so that this wouldn't really be a practical way for me to go about determining those things, especially with some of the material inside here. Yes, this is good for orientation. You know, there's a lot of times I need that type of orientation, but... Uh, this is too broad of a subject for it to really be applicable in the situation or even if you would recognize orientation based on this standard of what that test looks like here you know real world follows real world circumstances there might be a clockwise standard to, to what you do with the crew I'm I'm on a roster that's what that is clockwise works on an XY value to what does so when I when I rotate a person or there's criteria on a test that says, well, that's two steps back, this one's two steps forward, you know, in one situational model, do I really think from, from what positions that they're applicable for from an early index test, it might become something in a much more advanced version of what that is, but with training and standards inside of these situations, eventually I can gauge into that where somebody might be able to appropriate this kind of test in a functional way. Because otherwise, you know, how are you using something like this in the common everyday world to say the majority of the population needs something like that or is, is useful or is functional in such a way where it just doesn't like really discriminate my own test. Um, it kind of undermines the parameters of, of what I'm trying to do here um, by by not accurately depicting what those results should correlate to in some kind of way. So we're going to need to make this more realistic. We're going to need to paint a, a much more uh, vivid baseball game, you know, here at home plate or the Pentagon or whatever, you know, how operations move around in a system. And then I wouldn't want the Pentagon, Pentag Pentagon to be the standard of what I'm dealing with inside here at that kind of scale. But there might be something in there where it's associated with um, the NP problem would be the highest value organization, field theories, new tasks coming up. You know, how do I want to orientate and position this? Well, let's drop this two steps back or two steps forward amongst the local group of what that does. And then I can say, well, that has a very high, you know, not a lot of people get this thing. 
by percentages off of this new population group this year, last year, or something like that. So I could quantify that as a harder problem. It in itself is a problem. What we can define it to be later on can be more advanced or more local into the situation which might be necessary for the tasks that I'm going to do. Um, but it, it's just that it's raw phase. It's an X, Y, Z, Y, F over X kind of math problem that goes into this. Um, and, and we need a way to be able to slide that stuff around. So given what sector, model, or parameter 722, um, F, FM 722 for physical fitness, you know, how do I, how do I best design a, a fighter or a unit or a training procedure to best define the topology that I'm trying to, to set it to um, as, as a standard inside of here. And I, and I just don't think this plays real nice. And I wanted the IQ test before I got into the ASVAP and started to uh, base it against the ASVAP or something under those standards. Um, but inside of here, you know, we got some other stuff. Downloads, downloads. All right, I got a new folder inside here. I got a couple of IQ tests going through here. A Wikipedia standard on, oh, on, well, this is the Rangers model of it, and that's not what I'm looking for. Um, the Wikipedia standards, and these are all two minutes of two minute events, um, except for the uh, the mile, which will give you a specific time that they're looking for, but no real score from this. It's kind of real broken in terms of where you find the information. I got to go to this one, to go to that one, and then I just want to put that all in one local space where I can where I can graph that across the board. Um, uh, yeah, this is great for NCOs and command uh, mission commands. Well, not mission command, but uh, well, command in general. You know, where, you know, instead of changing a fucking uniform every four years or some bullshit like that, you, you know, you get to play around with these standards a little bit and kind of emphasize not just the, the local standards that anybody would come through or what the, the boot camp requirements would be. That's going to be pretty fixed. Um, you know, if, if, the chain, if the time changes, I have a gravity to compare against inside here. For some reason, there might be a local, can more smokers out there, COVID might have an effect on some stuff inside here. I can't say they will. I can't say that it won't. You would test that physically against the gravity in controlled tests. You know, like, that's what we're getting as the local the group. I can't quantify it to be the absolute truth against the statistical analysis that goes into here, but it'll certainly play very well into the standards of, you know, maybe that was that group this year we got, or regionally I could start to cut off areas and then compare them against each other to say, well, that region or that standard needs something overall at the school level for PT or or whatever comes up into the Common Core Critical Theory, um, how this applies into the standard model. Um, so we'll keep this going here. So I did do some other ones inside here. I got the, uh, I thought this was a good one because, because again, inside of here, I'm, I'm staying off the model of uh, strength, dexterity, constitution, intelligent wisdom, and charisma. They're going to be my main models. And, and obviously off of the PT test, that, that's my raw, hardcore standard for strength. I can't compare it to be this field because there's too many different fields against standards of everybody's standards across the board. But a PT test works very well to be able to standardize that against the equipment and as a separator, a cyclotron. It's it's not this obstacle course, which is a globular circle on curvatures of, of wave functions that come across inside here. But instead... Um, this correlates to uh, the PT test would be a straight line, which is a circuit, right? You know, when the circuit is on, you get the little circle. When the circle's off, you get the uh, the line, the bar for your computer or your PlayStation or whatever the hell you're dealing with. I don't know, your Game Boy. Um, and playing inside here, and then basically they work the same way. There's some math to it. I'm sure you've heard me talk about it before. I'm not about to get into it right now at this point in time. Uh, but this obstacle course is very important because I can do that locally on topology. Uh, I can say, well, I don't necessarily need um, obstacle courses designed that way if I design the topology 
to simulate some of the combat readiness features that I would need to do. There's certainly regions that need to be defended higher or lower inside of here. But are they on a hillside? Are they at some flat running corners and stuff like that that, that are going to be necessary to do those things? Yes, they're going to, when you're running hills like that, that's going to increase your your, uh, your dexterity. That's going to increase your strength to a certain degree. It's going to make a difference over those series of tests on PT plus your your standards for PT, you're making additional standards inside of here that will improve that over time. The more training you do um, before you hit that phase limit where it starts to fall off and you crash inside of the situation, you know, there's a lot of faculties, what you eat, you know, how well you're sleeping, you know, those things can absolutely make differentials and detrimental differentials inside of the situation. You want to make sure you're sleeping right, the education on those standards, the wisdom, or how that charisma of how I specify those conversations might be topological. They are going to be um, delayed and lensed in, in many different ways where your orientation or spin um, your internal momentum, what I have for your graphs for strength, dexterity, tel uh, uh, constitution, intelligence, wisdom, and charisma are going to make a big difference. And we want to make sure we maximize those standards uh, for our troops or our, our party for if, if we're sticking with the D&D &D models or local units inside of here. Because again, you know, we're not dragons or orcs or any other kind of cra crazy shit like that um, that comes into this. Uh, I got a little off track there. And again, this is a bit old, but it doesn't matter. Gravity works the same way. If you stay with gravity, if you work gravity, it works great. If you push gravity to the breaking point, it's it'll break. Um, and inside of here, uh, chinning, uh, creeping, running, jumping, these are all kinds of standards that I can pose a standard to it by referencing a local topology. There's a step on a thing that everybody gets. It's not all steps in the world are all the same size or height. It just works by averages of, I know they do it in the National Guard about, you know, what is it, 5, 6 to 6, 8, I think is what the height regiments are. And if you're really high, taller than that or you're really shorter than that, then the parameters of the test, the limits, the omega on this, uh, starts to fall away. It's not that it doesn't directly work that way. It's not that I couldn't have some shorty do something inside of there. But for the overall standard, you know, being that large inside of the situation will have negative consequences inside of the standards. Equally like your gait when you're that short, it's going to, it's going to have an effect on how fast you can physically run um, before you've done something to compensate in that way. And from this general... Um, with exclusions to the the minorities or not minorities the the in the individual things that come up for a, a difference inside. Look up the definition in general, would you please? Um, inside here that would correlate to say, look, you know, we we can't do it for every specialized function inside of here, and the amount of time it takes to train that. And I'm talking to a command lead or a mission command by these standards. It's just not functional. It's not efficient. And it can be potentially overwhelming to the amount of information that they actually might need when somebody stands out as a as a case into this situation. And I say that specifically because it might be a good case. Here are some of the parameters somebody did inside of the, the obstacle course that I provided for them, whether intellectually or physically, that provide a positive or a negative index to some of the criteria or situational things that I might be then able to train accordingly if those circumstances come up or reference correctly without discriminating them or harassing them because I wouldn't want to. There they're doing the task and I want them to be able to do it or they're going to come into the situation that argues well that's not fair into the situation when when clearly it would be fair that that would be a fair reasoning to discriminate under that standard to be able to do something like that. Look, there's no such thing as, as a perfect number. There's no such thing. None. What's seven to you? Well, there you go. That's what you get. Two for the Laplazian in this case. That case would be correct, but if you tried to say, well, two is always the Laplazian or uh, nine is the Makovsky in space for what this value is, that you, you, you cannot do that. The world would fall apart 
and mathematics, uh, linguistics, and everything else would start to tear down inside of the situation where it's like, obviously, I speak American. If you try to get me to teach Chinese or speak Chinese or just jump right into the class without doing some bilingual sign language inside of here about two two by twos out the door or having some kind of local physical topology to help me be able to say shovel and point at a shovel and that words for shovel okay so maybe i can make an early index on what that value is and then remember it later and even speak that language or be able to make that differential otherwise you're going to crash into the wall real hard um uh, you know, so so th these are some parameters. I I'm going to go through all of this and, and do some reading tonight and stuff like that. But right, right now, I'm just information gathering. I'm trying to find something that looks like it should be in the window for what I'm looking for. And then I'll go through it with a fine-tooth comb and really go through the archaeology and anthropology necessary here to, to really kind of uh, tailor it to the conditions and systems that I'm using it for. Before we get into the map making and land nav necessary for what these kind of situations might correlate to, um, you know, you may not have the resources of ability to, to really compare this, but there's no reason I couldn't design a situation in my backyard so comprehensive that it wouldn't smoke a uh, an elite force or some standard. You know, because I don't have some of the other parameters or I'm augmenting the design in some way that in, in this is equal to the intelligence or IQ standard ASVAP models that go into there, that I got to have at least some kind of standards over here to deal with the trajectories of what I'm trying to separate. Remember, separation is a job, right? I have all this inventory and somebody hands me a sheet of the things that I need to put into this box right now and go. I just can't put whatever the hell I want off the shelf into this mystery box and send it to somebody that goes totally against what they want them to do. So if I need that to be defense stock, and first thing, the best offense is a great defense, right? If those standards and ideals are something that is American strong inside of the standards, or equally if I see that kind of standard in another country or another standard, you know, why as an American would I then deny that model? I'm not going to necessarily correlate them to be directly an American, but at the same time, there, there's green cards, there's a lot of other things that you got to get squared away because there are a lot of other problems and faculties inside of that. But why would I deny the information in front of me to say, wow, that's a great scenario. That's a great way to augment the situation and standards for uh, mountain uh, <laughs> epoxy training, you know, or whatever the, the game may, may be. Um, hypoxia is what it is. You know, that they do something, they eat something, they correlate that model in that way, and that radically changes the, the output on that result because it would be simple YF over X mechanics, um, XYZ locations and space, uh, spatial time uh, functions that correlate to a better result. And it wouldn't matter who that is. And I would conduct that experiment on, on my own people under my own situation that in a free line, but I'm not compromising the constitution of what this standard represents inside here so it gets into some weird stuff about constitution you know constitution be the numbers king george that's usually the number hey you're you're not functioning calculus you're not functioning the experiments that you see in front of you and you're and you're violently coming against that standard in some way you don't have constitution you won't even stick to your own words you know we all have seen it in the interrogation rooms especially if you're in some of my work that you know it's going to be what you say that's the reason you do a thing that's the reason for what you stand up for and believe in and then you go against your own words when for some reason you thought that you know you didn't even think about your own constitution and your own belief systems to that model inside of here nor go to say well if i have one of those models i would assume that it's fair for somebody else to have one otherwise why would i have one in general things would start to break down in the universe to to not functionally model inside of, of what the correct answer or how to achieve the correct answer, um, the, how the goings about of that situation would work. Um, so that that's kind of where I'm at right with the moment with everything inside here. I know I did some stuff about last night on some of the numbers that gets inside here the character sheet the unknown soldier you know look i, I you know there, there are so many jacobian matrices that go into this but i just need the general model 
Um, we have certain gear, and, and I'm going to lead right hand rule on the military standards. And unfortunately, to Paris Island, I got all kinds of heart for Paris Island. I have a much larger demographic that I have to compare against as the Army standard. So we're going to use that as the general model, and I'm just going to ask you to be a little bit better and, and make sure that your number at least is congruent with what those standards correlate to if you're going to have any kind of standard. I'm not disrespecting that model. I'm just saying, look, you know, if we're going to use that as our larger general function, you got to be able to at least compare that standard. Go ahead and test it. That's what that correlates to. Yes, it's going to be a time compression. Yes, it's going to be a cost compression in some kind of standards, but we have to make sure that we have our own asses covered by what that standard represents because me as a Mason, I don't have any of that luxury. I have to do that from my backyard, AR-150-1 to the F FM-7-22 physical fitness variables inside of here, ASVAP standards, AR-600-20 sharps harassment models or promotion board variables on, on what goes down inside of here. So that's my note. I'll catch you on the next one. Stay motivated and get stoked.